How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we have some news that is actually quite shocking, especially after, I mean, it seemed like the long leash the Packers gave them. The Packers have released Amari Rogers and Kylan Hill. Now I know I've kind of been clamoring that Amari Rogers needs to get off the punt return, which he did, but I didn't fully expect them to release him, especially considering how thin we've been at receiver. Now, I do believe Randall Cobb could come back this week. Uh, he was seen catching passes from Jordan Love in the pregame, so I feel like his return is very imminent. But Kylan Hill is a bit shocking, considering he seemed like he had a lot of potential and just had some slight injury bug with him, especially after tearing his ACL. He looked like he could actually be a good running back for us. And with as much as we kind of have used Aaron Jones a little bit as of late. It's still shocking we wouldn't keep him, especially as uh, the third running back on our roster. But the Packers apparently didn't see much or didn't have much thought for him, so they have released him. And in turn have actually called up Patrick Taylor from the practice squad onto the active roster in his place. So those roster moves the Packers made today, and they're a bit of a shock. And with Amari Rodgers being released, it now continues the trend with pretty much our team doing terrible with our third round draft picks. We might as well just keep trading them away every year because we can't seem to pick a good player in the third round. But going back to the Amari Rodgers, um, he didn't have a great, he didn't have a good, he had a terrible career with us. Granted, it was only a year and a half, but he only amassed eight catches. For 95 yards on 16 targets and he mostly served as our main punt returner over the course of his career with us now it did seem like in the preseason of this year that he showed some flashes and he might be kind of coming around and could actually be a decent punt returner and that our previous special teams coordinator was just terrible but apparently it wasn't just Mo Drayton. It was also under Rich Bashashia where he just couldn't seem to be a good kick return or punt returner for us. So especially after a rough year this year, he had five fumbles on the punt return. They finally made a change during the Cowboys game and put Kishon Nixon back there who looked a lot better in his couple of attempts at punt returning. And then now come today on Tuesday where they're now just going to cut all ties with our third round pick from a just two years ago. So Amari Rogers is out. I thought they'd keep him around a little bit more, especially since it looked like he could be a decent receiver, uh, especially filling in for Randall Cobb uh, and Randall Cobb can't seem to stay healthy for an entire year, but he kind of looked like a Randall Cobb type of player in the slot. But I also feel like with the slight emergence of maybe Christian Watson, if he could stay healthy, and Samari Torre coming about, and then Rant Romeo Dubs coming back in a few weeks, that he might have been the odd man out. And it looked like he could be the odd man out in training camp at the receiver group with all the players coming in. I didn't think he would actually find a role, but I'm still shocked that the Packers have made this move and cut him, especially with how bad our receiver depth has been this year, but... It is what it is at this point. Mario Rogers is no longer on the Packer squad, and we don't have to worry about him returning punt returns ever again, at least this year, and hopefully in the future. But I just want to come out with a quick update of, hey, the Packers made a pretty big move, but it wasn't a signing move. We still need a receiver. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, go back, go.